Welcome, everyone, to the uh, uh, Standing Committee on Government Operations and Estimates as we undertake uh, our annual review of the, the main estimates. We're pleased to welcome as witnesses today uh, officials and representatives from the Department of Public Works and Shared Services Canada. Uh, many of the uh, officials will be, uh, many of the witnesses will be uh, familiar to committee members as regular and frequent visitors, and they're certainly welcome back again. We'll have uh, leading the delegation for the Department of Public Works, uh, Madame Michelle Doré, Deputy Minister. Welcome, Madame Doré, again. And from Shared Services Canada, Lisanne Ferrand, the President. And without delay, we'll ask uh, Madame Doré, I suppose, to make some opening remarks. Uh, Mr. And Chair, before we begin, I wonder if I could just register a complaint on behalf of I and my colleagues. We provided uh, more than a month notice to the minister. Uh, that date was chosen in consultation with the minister's office, and we would appreciate an explanation of, and a commitment that the minister is going to appear on another date before uh, the deadline passes. Mm -hmm. um, if, if the witnesses will pardon us for we have a brief uh, dialogue between some of the committee members. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Bray, did you have your hand up? Yes, uh, just very briefly. Uh, certainly, you know, I, I appreciate the comments. Uh, the minister would very much uh, have wanted to have been here. Uh, she did have another commitment this morning, and this was a uh, really came down to a scheduling issue, and it was a commitment that uh, unfortunately she could not change. Um, I'm going to go in order here, Mr. McCallum. Well, that may be so, although she did have a lot of notice. So I think the question is whether we can find a time for her to come. I think it's important to hear the minister. Whether she could come today or not is one issue, but can she come at a future time? Um, Matthew Ravenet. This happens once a year. I mean, it's it's a bare minimum, I think, that the the minister be present to defend her estimates and, of course, her budget. Um, it's a very uh, unfortunate thing, and I don't think that, uh, given the time that we have uh, given a warning, that uh, uh, giving us an answer without any details with regards to how, why she can't be present today is, is completely unacceptable. I should say that uh, we asked the clerk to ask the minister why she was unable to attend, and she was unable to tell us why she was unable to attend. Ms. Duncan. Uh, well, I think that uh, the best thing to do is to, I move that uh, we re-extend an invitation to the, the minister, and uh, that uh, the clerk work with her offices to find an appropriate debate uh, date uh, in both schedules by that time. I find it hard to find any matter more important than being accountable to spending. So I think it's absolutely necessary. This is a key department that uh, our committee reviews, and uh, we were very much looking forward to the opportunity to review uh, these matters with the minister. So I move that um, uh, we uh, direct the clerk to uh, contact the minister to pursue another date. There's a motion on the floor. I'm going to rule that the motion is in order because it's the subject matter that we're dealing with. Uh, Peter, to the motion. Well, it, again, as I mentioned, I, I don't think um, you know we want to belabor this too much and take away time from asking important questions of our officials who are here about the matters that you indicate are important to you. Uh, again, this uh, unfortunately came down to an issue of scheduling. And uh, certainly the clerk could uh, follow up again with, uh, with the minister's office. And um, I, I suggest that we proceed with our, um, our questioning this morning. Well, there's a motion on the floor, so if any other further speakers to the motion before we put the question? What's, the, what's exactly the motion? Was the that motion. we summon the minister to, to uh, I, defend her estimates before the committee that she is yeah. re responsible to? Well, I would suggest that we. Um, uh, defer this to uh, a subcommittee. This is, uh, falls under the category of committee business, and we can discuss it uh, in, in that forum and not take, uh, as I say, any further time away from this important matter today. Well, there's a motion on the floor that I've ruled in order, and the motion is debatable. John. Yeah, 
the quickest way not to take any more time is just to vote for the motion. It's just requesting the minister to come at a different time. I don't see why the Conservatives would object to that. And I, I move that we adjourn debate of this particular motion to our uh, subcommittee on committee business. Uh, there's a motion on the floor. I don't think I can entertain another motion at that time. Um, I think we have to deal with this motion. If you wanted this to be dealt with in committee, you would have, or in subcommittee, it would have had to have been done prior to the motion being moved. A motion to adjourn is not in order either. We have a motion on the floor. Let's, I'll just consult with. That's true, Peter. The clerk advises me that uh, the motion to adjourn debate on this would have been in order had you not put a qualifier that it be moved then to the subcommittee, because now that's debatable. If, if, you, if it's the will of the committee, we could simply put the question whether it, um, I'm not going to entertain a bunch more motions. We have a motion on the floor that we're debating, Matthew. Yeah, and I'd like to debate that, actually. I'd like to debate the substantive motion before. Uh, before my colleagues decide to cut off debate again, I mean, this is this is it a charade or, or is it not a charade? I mean, do you actually believe that ministers are accountable for what they do? Do you actually believe that ministers are accountable for the money that they spend, and the money that they intend to spend? It is a minimum that the minister appear to defend her budget. And to give us a last-minute excuse puts into question this committee's oversight functions. And oversight is a fundamental democratic uh, power of this committee. And to be able to question the minister is part of that responsibility. So I hope that uh, my, my conservative colleagues don't intend to shirk our responsibilities by, by voting against this motion. Peter Braid. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I appreciate uh, your guidance and uh, clarification. I will therefore move to adjourn debate on this motion. That's in order, and it's no further debate. The question has to be put. All those in favor of adjourning debate on this motion? Hands down, opposed, if any. Uh, the motion to adjourn debate carries. The subject will be put over to a future time. Okay. Linda, uh, you're on the list here, but uh, That's we're finished with that issue. In that case, we'd both welcome Madame Doré to give us her opening remarks, and then we'll allow the same amount of time to Madame Ferrand, and then we'll open to questions from the floor. Madame Doré, you have the floor.